What is good, bro? I'm gonna tell you my story on how to forgive your family members, even though if you do something terrible. If you've been feeling like your family has been like getting angry at each other, maybe even falling apart, I believe this will be the remedy. This is what you say to whoever's wronged you. Wronged you. I forgive you, I was wrong, and I'm sorry. You say those three things, that's gonna melt someone's heart usually. And if they don't, that's up to them. But guys, let me tell you my story. So please stick with me for a bit. So me and my brother, we're just chilling in the grass. It's a beautiful day. And we're just messing around. We're with his friend. We're just trying to do some tricks. So I'm trying to do a, a special trick. I ran. My brother's not expecting it. And guess what I do? I hit him with a tackle. I tackle him. I shoot in. Boom. And he's like, shit. I'm like, yo, that was a good one. But my thought, my thought is interrupted by him kicking me. He's angry. He's mad that I did that. He's like, you don't know when to stop, do you? Like, damn. Like, it's just a tackle. At least I didn't punch you in the face or some shit. And he's like... And he starts getting mad, like, starts attacking me. So, he kicked me, right? So, I got him right in the ear. His ear bruises, it swells up. And he starts run. He starts walking away from me. Like, he doesn't run, he walks away. And we're just behind and me, me and his friend. And I'm just processing the situation like, bro, why did I do that? I feel so stupid. Like, violence against your family is just a waste. I shouldn't have done that. It's my fault. We get home. We explain the story. And basically, the outcome was our papa was like, yeah, you, you guys shouldn't fight anymore. Because I'm way bigger than him. And I'm going to hurt him if we're seriously fighting, which we don't, we don't do that. So, after that, I hold resentment in my heart. You know when you have like that ball of anger in your chest and you just wanna let it out at the person who did you wrong? But I didn't let it out. I didn't let it out in an angry way. I let it out in a better way. So, I'm at my house, he's at his house, probably recovering and healing and like getting ice on his ear. But now, he's at my house, he walks in. At first, I just wanna yell at him, I just don't wanna forgive him. I feel angry at him, right? Like, this guy's my enemy. But I realize, this is my brother. But we are all brothers in God. We're all brothers in Christ together. We are all connected, brothers and sisters, mothers and daughters. And I realize there's no point of holding this hatred. Hating somebody. There's no point of hating somebody and having anger towards them. We're supposed to love each other and forgive each other. Resentment is not a natural feeling in our stomach and in our chest. That's not what we were created to do. So I swallowed my, pl I swallowed my pride. I went up to him and I gave him a hug. I gave him a hug. That's what you do. I'm sorry, I was wrong, it's my fault. That's what you say. Like I said at the beginning of this video, that is all you say. Take responsibility. Even if it wasn't your fault, you're probably a little bit at fault in some way. Without knowing it, I guess. But you will be like, if you just say those three things, I love you, I'm sorry, it was my fault. Bro, most people would just be like, damn, I gotta forgive this guy, like, I'm sorry. But the best thing about that is, you're clearing that anger from each other. You're reconnecting in love. So next time you get in an argument with your mom, your dad, your siblings, or even your friend, think about this. we are all children of God meaning we are all brothers and sisters in a spiritual way and forgiveness is the key that, to that connection if we hate each other we are not connected like a weak link 
But if you do not forgive both of you, the person who got in the argument and you, yourself, will feel so terrible if you do not forgive. You'll feel this resent, you'll feel this like anger bubbling up whenever you think about it. But now when I think about it, I think, damn, that's a lesson learned. I need to control my anger against my brother. Think of how much you can learn from that, from just forgiving others. I don't think most people would watch this far, but I hope the beginning just uh, gave you guys some good instruction there. I'm sorry, please forgive me, it's my fault. I love you. And a hug. Once you do that after an argument, all is clear. Usually not all is clear, but it's way better than it was before. Okay, bro. So I, if you watch the end of this video, bro, please comment. Please comment pneumonia if you guys know how to spell it pneumonia if you watch to the end of the six minute fucking video <laughs> comment pneumonia and i'll heart your comment bro anyways i wasn't trying to seem harsh or like annoying in this video i just wanted to give you guys some good tips for your family because i wish i knew this when i was 13 14 15 years old because I got in fucking arguments a lot, bro. Just let it go, let it dissolve, let it disappear. Anyway, bro, I hope this is truly a good video. I don't know if I'm explaining forgiveness properly because forgiveness is actually part of the Christian life, but it can be a part of our, all of our lives too because we were supposed to love each other and forgive each other for our stupid things. Anyway, bro, have a great day. This is a long video, so comment pneumonia if you watch the whole thing, and peace out. Mwah. Wait, that didn't end it. Mwah. That didn't end it. Mwah.